Hey, what's up guys? Putting me up here. I'm gonna be doing a Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. Uh, I wanted to do one for a while and uh, just get it on film and everything. So, go ahead and get started. And uh, maybe after I'm done getting all these clips and everything, I can go and edit it all back and kind of make a funny video out of it. But I just kind of wanted to get some uh, a Let's Play done. So, I guess we'll get started. We're gonna start new. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. 
from where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. What a rough opening. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Oh, my name, dude. I'm thinking Don Kedick, man. Don Kedick sounds pretty good. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Oh, you're not my father, so. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, 50s, 60s, uh, spaghetti western. I want to do a male. Got to do Caucasian. All of them look pretty good, but... I'll do this right here. A little bit older. Not really gonna mess with a lot of this. Cowboys are usually like pretty skinny. I'll do facial hair. And you know you gotta have that gunslinger mustache. All these are really good, but. You could do a gunslinger mustache and be pretty alright. Yeah, I'm not really trying to mess with it too much. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Okay. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. I bet it's not. Oh, I thought my game already froze up the second I would, the second I loaded in. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. I will. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. All right, great, thanks. All right, so I'm not really trying to get too crazy with it. I only got so many points. The average Joe. Perception, get a little bit of that. We definitely want to get our health up a little bit. Definitely want to. I should. I should definitely 
I'll go down with this. Oh, I kind of want my luck to be up. I'll take one out of uh, that. I'll probably put it into this right here. The rest we could run from the uh, run from the start of the game, but we're gonna need a lot of charisma. Sounds good to me. Well, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter in a big corner drop. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Yes, I'll take a seat in your stained up couch, sure. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Newspaper. <laughs> uh, let's do investment. Night. Silencer. <laughs> Bandit. Swiss cheese. Mother. Cookie jar. <laughs> okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they said. Mother. Cookie jar. <laughs> First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. No, no opinion. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I strongly agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Strongly dis- Oh, no. Yeah, strongly agree. <laughs> Charge in to deal with my problems head on. Just agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a little- Rorschach test, test now. Tell me what you see. Okay. Broken chain. How about this one? A ship at sea? That don't even look like a fucking ship, dog. Last one. So they're definitely two bears giving a high five to each other. That's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. So I'm running guns. I want to do a cowboy type of deal. So I'm going to do guns. Definitely want speech. And we definitely want explosives. I would say let's do lockpick. I guess we could do lockpick. That don't sound too bad. But explosives would be the way to go. We'll do explosives. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. All right, two traits. I'll do Wild Wasteland later. Good natured. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, that worked for me. I carry a shit ton of stuff on me. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Sure. A 
Is there anything in this house that I could take that's worth the value? Anything that's literally on this table? Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna need that. <laughs> Paperweights. Medex. Blood pack. Not any surgical tubing just yet. Take that right there. Open a foot locker. Take that. Take that. Pork and beans. Cram. I don't think I've ever really explored this guy's house. I don't need a pilot light. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in the vaults in May before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. Uh, yeah. I know what it's I'll like. take it. Take it from me. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. What do I do? To sunny smiles, Great. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, but try not to get killed anymore. I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't think I'm ready for it yet. <laughs> Maybe in a later playthrough. Jesus. The light. All War of Blues. Happy Trails Expedition, your pit boys picked up a radio broadcast from Happy Trails Caravan. Alright, great. Okay. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? What's going on, Victor? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I bet I am a stranger in need. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. All right, great. See ya. Prospector Saloon. Cheyenne, stay. 
Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me. Meet me outside. Side behind the saloon. Yep. All right. Jump on the dog. Jump on top of this dog right here. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, wow. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla. No, bottles. I didn't. Tell you what. <laughs> this looks creepy. <laughs> water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Follow me. I need to get my level up with the guns anyways. Start blowing these geckos away. My shitty varmint rifle. I don't see any geckos. What the fuck? Are we going or what? Sound interesting. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. Okay, we can do it. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Yes, I'll give the geckos hell, Sunny Smiles. Is there any fucking geckos at all? Oh, there's a gecko right there. Now, what was the deal with these? You had to shoot them in the legs. Just blasted that boy away. That was it. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Nah, I'm good. I don't blame you. They're good eating, but that's about it. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. She'd be crushed. Yes, talk to Trudy. Alright, see ya.
Alright, here we go. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? I'm going to blow your ass away. Let me sit on this bar stool right here. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Yeah, when I just kill Cobb. That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the power gangers with him. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they can make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, yeah, like that's gonna help. Make the powder gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. I don't care about your radio. <laughs> Uh, it's actually there they were gone. Of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Yeah, why is that? The area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Okay. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. All right. We're good. we've done Be talking there. Out there. Where's the radio? Bear twenty or greater. Damn it! <laughs> I know I should have done that shit. Either. A little pisser over there. There's nothing in here. So that broom. This jukebox works. What do you need your radio? Just to listen to the news. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with Ringo. Actually, let's go talk to Joe Cobb. What do you want? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not fucking with you. I'm going over to help this guy. <laughs> D 
get some good stuff though. Foot locker. Ooh, BB gun. With BBs. Ramen skin outfit. <laughs> I know how it works, buddy. Yeah, that's a little more fitting. All right, here we go. Sarsaparilla machine. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. I bet. You got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? I'm not playing caravan, dude. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've you better give me some damn money. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. What's going on in these crates right here? Probably gonna need all of that. You got anything on you important? No. Bunch of Brahmin and shit. Oh, big horner. Another big horner over here. Right, where are we supposed to go? Oh, the saloon. That's over here. We gotta go find Sunny Smiles. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> Say no more. I'm in. All right, that was easy. <laughs> well, that was easy. If we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. All right, yeah, that could work. Got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. All right. I think that sums it up. You just got to run to everybody in the town and talk to them. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but... Speech 25, man. It's first speech check. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. 
While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. All right. They were having some. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah 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 blah. Felt. All right, I'm out of here. Where's that easy Pete fell at? Oh, there he is. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I got. I heard you get some dynamite. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Damn, dude. Fuck. I look at how close that is. Yep. Fuck you, Easy Pete. Keep. It I've never had the chance to end up recruiting him, ever. Howdy. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. If you're hurting for cash... Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Oh my god. Right. Just keep me out of it. Is there anything else? Yeah, what do you have? Do. You got a 357 at all? No, you have nothing. Unbelievable. I got a damn BB gun and a laser pistol to my name and a varmint rifle. Take yeah, take it easy too. I'm already trying to steal shit, dude. It's like in my nature for Fallout games to steal shit. I bet I could probably go kill some more geckos and I'll get high enough level. Let me go find some geckos, man. I'm really trying to get these people on board. I think that was barter that he needed. Gotta go out here and kill the geckos. Should be around this area at least. There's two dead ones over there that I shot the other day. Or actually just a couple minutes ago. Drink some of that good good. Come over here, partner. Woo! Hold up, buddy. <laughs> Hold up, buddy. Oh, your friend. Oh! Oh! Dude, load up, load up. Oh, get away from me. Oh, I got his ass. That did nothing. Two extra ones. There's another one right here. Gonna need him. Got him. I don't know who the fuck that is. Oh, I got him. Better load up. Man, they're coming. You gotta be coming around right here. Are they running away or something? Hell no, dog. 
Get back here. Oh, reload this hunk of shit. Got him. Let's talk to old buddy by the camper over here, see what he wants. Wow, that did nothing. Got him. That was easy, man. Can't beat that. It did nothing for me at all, though. This guy doesn't look too good. Hello? Can you help me? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please. Sure, I'll help you. Already sounds like a bad idea. Nah, man, I'm good. Broken radio tower? What, was it? what did he want again? Actually, there are geckos up here. Sorry, buddy. Dude, yeah, dude, back off. Like, I don't even understand why you're trying to come up against me right now. Oh, dude, he, he walked it off. <laughs> yeah, no, he's good. Done, buddy. Broken radio tower, what was it, up this ridge right here or something? I'm gonna need that. Dude, they're really quick. You go away, dog. Oh shit. Let me deal with your deal with your friend first, please. <laughs> Alright, just give me a second, I'll deal with you. Thank god this is glitched out to where I don't have to deal with this. They'd be messing my ass up. Oh, he ran off. See if I can Chris Cowell this motherfucker. Look like I did it for him. Where's the other one at? Over here. Took care of him too. Oh shit. Dude, there is a lot of them. Go away. Oh, 
Oh, he actually got me. There is so many of them, bro. They're all coming down the ridge. They're ready to go. <laughs> hey, come back up here. Come back over here. Come back over here, please. Young Gecko Hunter. Sounds pretty intense. Ooh, I bet that hurt your little noggin. Alright, got him. I didn't do anything. He walked that shit off. Alright, I got one. Better run out of ammo for this gun, dude. I have to pull the BB gun out and get to work. I got four shots left. I better make these count. Only headshots from now on. Got him on that one. Oh, he's gonna smack me. I'm out of ammo. Time to get down and dirty. <laughs> I got the I got the butcher knife. Getting gotta get a work. What's up, buddy? All right, here we go. All right, what did I need? I needed barter. I needed explosives. I need one explosive. And uh, what was the other one? Repair. The swift learner. And intense training. Oh, dude, I can only pick one. I'm just gonna do Swift Learner. Let me heal up. Some junk food. I'm missing something here. What did the guy ask me to do again? Go up to this. I actually probably need two or three of these. What what was the objective again? Oh shit. Sorry I tricked you. But thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there after I deal with you. There's no stash, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blasting him away. So get down! Why are you running? Oh! Damn, dude. You got some stuff on you. There's no stash, dog. Oh, there is a stash right here in this gecko. <laughs> bottle cap, eight bottle caps. Are you serious? 
This is it. All right, well, I think that wraps up the first episode of the Let's Play. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. All right, thanks. Bye.